explain the uh, Seahorse tonometer. Okay, first we need to remove this uh, weight of 5.5 uh, 5, 5 grams. After removing, after removing, we have to clean here with a normal cotton. So whatever deposits is there, it will go up. Second thing, we have to insert this rod here, swabbing rod, and then you have to clean two three times. And after that, we can remove. So this area will get clean. And again, we have to tight this now next step is to know that this instrument is properly we have to put in this dummy carnia and check that if this needle is coming in a zero that means it is instrument is proper if it's not in zero then we have to again clean that okay so this way you have to put that second thing when we check the patient eye we have to keep this plunger in our direction which we can see here that way okay now we have to put paracin drops in patient eye, whichever eye we wanted to check. Now slowly we have to pull the upper lid and lower lid and press put this one in the cornea and the down you can see that I am not at all pressing my plunger down okay. It is just the reading is showing like that okay. You can see that it is showing in the zero. So zero we need to increase the weight of this CO stonometer. We will put the weight here extra and recheck that okay so now after inserting the 10 gram we will check again so how what is the reading we will see that you can see that it is showing in the 6 okay so first 5.5 gram was there in the instrument so it was showing the zero so it is 41.5 so it was showing the zero the value is 41.5 so whenever it is the value is more uh, less than 3 we supposed to be checked with the different weight which is 7.5 10 so i have checked now with the checked now with 10 grams so we will see the reading with the train gram it value was there the 6 so we will read like this is 6 like 31.8 the value is 31.8 so this is the final value of the patient intraocular pressure 31.8 millimeter in mercury.